Good morning, everybody. Today is February 10th, 2020. I get the day off from my day job. How awesome is that? I'm super excited. And we haven't traded. We haven't traded in quite some time. We haven't had any signals um, since, what day is it? The 31st of January. So 10 days plus, um, just haven't had any <laughs> trading opportunities, any trading signals. But we're now in a position where we can possibly get into a trade. We're still only looking at calls, of course, off to the uh, left hand side. That's the one hour chart on the queues. And off to the right, you have the daily chart on the queues. You can see here that back on February 4th, we got back into bullish territory. We're only looking at calls for this particular time let's take a look at spites yep same story there of course they're all the same but they're they've dipped a lot more than the queues so i don't know exactly what that means we're just gonna wait for signals we're looking to trade the market to the upside let's see what happens guys Alrighty, folks we're starting to want to get a signal here on the queues and also on spy uh, spy it's pretty close let me switch over to the cues on the daily. Daily still looks good. Let's look at the five minute chart. Just, you know, there's nothing in particular about the five minute chart that I'm using to trade. Uh, but see, there's a signal trying to form. This candle isn't going to close until 8.30 my time. So we got 28 minutes left. But I'm gonna start looking at some options here. Give me just a moment. Oh, righty guys, I'm sorry about the huge delay here. Um, I had to readjust my screen so you can see everything that's going on. Um, unfortunately, on the queues, um, actually, let me check a couple things. First, we're about 11 minutes out. Unfortunately, for the options on the queues, um, I wouldn't go with the four day expiration, I'll go with the 11 day expiration, probably the 220 nine calls that expire in 11 days what you're seeing here off to the far far left is the intraday chart on the calls that i'm looking to trade so we'll see what happens let's make sure that uh, that signal does stick we want to get in on the start of the very next candle unless it really starts jumping um, i went ahead and bought one call option i bought the 229 calls that expire in 11 days which is february 21st I went ahead and bought one just in case it wants to uh, run up on me and I, I still want to buy one but I want to make sure that it closes it closes with a signal there so just buying a little bit of entrance so to speak and that's okay if it comes back down I'll get in at a better price this is um, it's called just scaling into the trade I'm not necessarily averaging down it's just scaling in I still have one left that I want to buy and then as soon as I buy, I'm going to go ahead and put it in a sell order. But again, I still have about uh, five minutes left before this candle uh, closes and we get a sure uh, green light go that the signal is going to stick, guys. We're just at a minute left until this candle closes. I don't foresee it closing below that upper uh, mobile band. So I'm going to go ahead and buy. And I bought in at 359. 359 is where I bought in for that second one. So to show both of those buy orders, bought one at 362, bought one at 359. So our average buy is at 360. So I'm gonna figure out what 10% of 360 is. So we're gonna put in a sell order for one at three dollars and ninety six cents three ninety six that's ten percent that's just one review and send order i'm going to let it run its course guys we'll see what happens uh, my exit strategy is literally is, is as soon as the price closes below the lower mobo band i'm going to sell out probably at a big loss but that's just uh the trade-off that i'm willing to um, take and uh, we'll just let it run its course we'll see what happens guys it just hit a new 
all-time high on the queue, so that gives me a vote of confidence. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go get some coffee here. I'm gonna let this thing run. I'm gonna let it record while I uh, get ready, and I'm gonna go to my local coffee shop here and pick up coffee. Alrighty guys, I just got back from getting coffee, from getting a haircut, and it looks like we could have possibly gotten really close um, to selling out at 396. Um, it looks like this is the highest it got, if that was the case. Um, the highest executed price anyways, if that's the case, then we didn't get that close. But either way, we're still on the right side of the market. Um, I am going through a little bit of pain, uh, well I did there for a little bit, still not not you know not in a great position. My average is 360 if you remember. Um, still being patient, being patient, I'm going with my strategy, going with my rules and I'm just setting it there. So let's see what happens. Let's hope that I can get executed out of half of my trade by the end of today. If not, I'm gonna hold on. Uh, for higher gains. I'm waiting for that 10% to sell out at 396 guys. So bear with it. It's going for it guys. It's going for it. I'm excited. It's 388 by 393. Three more cents and I'll be there. I'm thinking about selling out here just in case. I went ahead and sold. I sold one at... 387. That is fine with me. Just nine cents from my original um, sell order. And the other one, I'm gonna hold. If it gets down to 360, um, I'm gonna sell. That is my plan. Um, but I'm gonna hold the other one for um, bigger gains. Bigger gains, guys. But there you go. At least you saw me actually place that sell order. Um, I didn't necessarily stick to my guns, but it's uh, feels. I can't go off of feeling, but hey, I gotta take that off the table. Well, guys, what can I say? <laughs> um, I'm I'm excited. I'm I'm ecstatic. Even though that I sold um, and I sold myself short, kind of thing, it's trading at 397 by 401. I still have one call option that I'm um, holding on to, and um, I, sh I should have held. I should have held for my original uh, sell price uh, of 396. It surpassed that, as you can see that right now. But that's okay. That's absolutely okay. I already locked in some profits. I'm just chilling right now, guys. So stay tuned to see what this trade does, how it ends up. Do I lose my butts? Do I make a billion dollars? Okay, that's a little bit of exaggeration. But stay tuned, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm glad that you guys got to see that sell order, and I'm still holding on to one. As you saw there guys, I went ahead and sold that second option at $4.20. Even though it got up to $4.32, I'm happy with this trade. I made a total of about 12%, um, just you know, a hair under 12% altogether for my average price of $3.60 uh, to an average sell price of $4.03 I believe. Somewhere in there, that's about 12%, give or take, minus commission, of course, which we don't pay a whole lot in commission. I'm extremely happy with this trade. It was a long all-day trade, but I was happy to take it, guys. I don't know what's going on, guys, but I bought <laughs> some more calls on SPY. I have a sell order in at 317. Let's see if it executes here. And it executed. Holy moly, guys. <laughs> that is wild. That is absolutely wild. And this is, these are all of my trades for today. As you can see, I made $114 profit today. That's 
actually incredible. Where are they at now? <clears throat> what an interesting wild day in the stock market. I traded the uh, 333 calls that expire in eight days for February 18th on SPY. I traded SPY calls because I got this signal here. That's what I traded. Trading on the signals. I love this trading strategy, guys. Awesome.